Yo, what is up? I am Drew. Today I am tufting a custom rug for the TYSM music video. My good friend and the extremely talented Sawyer Bryce hit me up on the phone one day and said, Yo, Drew, I'm filming this music video in Wisconsin tomorrow and I need a custom rug that says directed by Sawyer Bryce on it. You are the only man for the job. I said, deal, sign me up. Let's do this. And today I'm going to share with you the process of making that rug and a little bit of the behind the scenes action, talking, and hanging with my extremely creative friends who I love very much. Let's do it. Off to Eau Claire we go. Eau Claire! Here I come. I live in St. Paul, Minnesota, about an hour and a half away from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, but I'm always going back and forth because I got a nice group of creative friends out there. You're going to get to meet some of them later in this video. Directions to Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Starting route to Eau Claire. Head north on Fair... Cool. Nice. It's about an hour and a half drive. Totally worth it to be able to be included in an awesome project like this. I find there's nothing better than working with other creative individuals and putting their minds in the same project. Today, we were shooting in Ivy Studios in Eau Claire. Shout out Ivy for letting us use their space. This is dope, I've never been here before. Yeah, it's so nice, man. Wait till you see like the set. He was not kidding. Once I saw the set, woo, so cool. Hey, Sawyer. Hey, everybody. Wow. Back to the shop now. Got some more work to do. Got to get this rug done. It's a non-linear timeline. I love it. Doing the writing backwards just to make it work. You got to mirror it so it looks normal on the other side of the rug. I didn't have a projector at this time though, so I was largely just freehanding it and kind of guessing, which worked out for the most part, but uh, not entirely. Kind of messed up one thing. You'll notice that in uh, just a second. S. A W E R Sar? Whatever. That's all right. Just plug it out. Life goes on. Saw or Bryce. Hi. Slide into the interview. Ooh. All right. I'm ready. So what's up? What's your name? My name's Eliza, otherwise known as TYSM, if we want to be professional. Gabby, Hen, H-E-N-N. -N. Yeah, it's just Sawyer Bryce. Cool. Oh, I didn't see you there. Uh, my name's Olu. <laughs> uh, my full name is Ken De Olu Mide Famule. But I go by Olu because it's easier to say. Uh, where do you find inspiration for your art? Um, inspiration? Yeah. Inspiration of art? Uh, I find inspiration a lot everywhere. A big part of it is from music. In music, just sit and just play and just listen. And, and it like correlates well with like, like my feelings. And general emotion that I'm feeling, like if I'm upset or if I'm like I'm happy or some shit. In like old pictures, back home in Nigeria, memories, stories, just like I have this endless pool of inspiration. Like you can get a lot of inspiration from fashion too. You know, running around, eating mangoes, mm -hmm. having like animals, goats, just like this for the world in Nigeria. That gives me a lot of inspiration. Uh, what's, that, what's that guy called? Ooh, I finally got a little warm in here. Back to the shop to fix the rug. Time to turn Sawer into Sawyer, like he should be. Thankfully, it's not too hard to recover from mistakes like this. You can kind of just pluck the yarn out and do it again. The sooner you notice them, the better though. That's for sure. The less yarn you gotta pluck out. All right, there we go. Back in action. Sawyer Bryce is Sawyer once again. I've been having a lot of fun with tufting lately, as you can probably tell on my YouTube channel. It's a really interesting medium. It feels a lot like drawing, but with yarn. And a lot of my art, I kind of just treat like drawing. Like even when I paint, I'm just kind of like drawing, but with paint, that's just kind of how my mind thinks about it. So I was able to translate my art style into rug form pretty smoothly. I just kind of continue to draw, but with the yarn. So I really like tufting as it opens up so many new creative doors and possibilities. There's not much more satisfying than spending a you know few hours in a creative session like this and ending up with a rug. Like a painting's cool, 
But a painting's not fuzzy. I don't know. Something about a rug, you know? So what's the vision for today's shoot? The vision, okay. So we're going for somewhat of like a 70s sitcom vibe, I guess. Um, you know, changed around though. We have a fisheye lens, so things are very wide and bright. Somehow, people like Kyle turn this into that, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. And here's the artist, this goofy boy. Hello. He is uh, Elijah. Not really. It's T.Y. That's yeah. his real name. Where'd the, like, the idea for this video come from? You yeah, said you were going to go record it that night? Yeah, so I, I listened to the beat and I kind of had a weird idea of making it seem like a living room. I don't know, <laughs> like it just made me think I was just sitting on my couch or something just bobbing my head. So I kind of thought of that and I've wanted to do somewhat of a living room set for a while. But yeah, I drew with the rug. I wanted creative titles for it. So we have on the newspaper, the, the song title, and then we have his artist name is Salt. And then Drew made the rug directed by me, which is sick because now I can bring it home and put my shoes on it, which is really cool. So thank you, Drew. Thank you, Flavor World. What's left for the rest of the day? The rest of the day, um, we got this scene. Gonna shoot that, probably take about an hour. And then probably take some photos using it. It's a good setup. So ultimately, we're just trying to be as creative as we can with what we have. You wanna get that? Yes, sir. Yeah. You feel that breeze coming in? Back to the shop we go. Time now to finish off the rug. I do the little last bit of tufting we got here. Then we just want to clean up the rug. Usually once you're done tufting, it's a bit of a mess. Um, some yarn goes in the wrong place, some overlaps, some is too crowded, whatever. So I like to go in with tweezers and kind of clean it up by hand. Yeah, and blow it all on the floor. Immediately after you sweeped, swept, whatever. Apply the glue to the back here. This is just to hold all the yarn in place for the backing. Gotta let it dry for a little while, but once it's dry to the touch, you can go on and finish it off. Today I'm doing a waterfall binding, so you just leave a little space around the edge, and then use a hot glue gun and fold it all over. So the backing part of it is not visible on the top side of the rug. I like to do waterfall bindings just because they're quick, easy, and they look great. Here I'm doing a little rug hack, life hack, painting the edges there. That's really just to cover up mistakes and hide any misalignments in my backing fabric. And boom, put some weight on it so it has time to dry, and the rug is done and ready for the video. I was super grateful to be a part of this creative project, shooting the video for TYSM, a lot of creative individuals around. It's just a very inspiring environment to be around creative individuals and it's slowly making me realize how passionate I am about just trying to bring creatives together and yeah, get parking tickets, that's part of it too. No, just like bringing creatives together and having us all put our mind to one vision, it really like is self-fueling. It, it's, it's like a positive feedback loop, being creative with other creatives because you make them more creative, and that makes you more creative. It's just like ideas all over the place. And that's truly a beautiful thing to be around and surrounded by. There's no better way to learn, there's no better way to create than just being around a bunch of other creatives. So I encourage all of you to go out there, find those people, don't give up. They're out there. You just gotta say yes to every opportunity that comes your way. Fully immerse yourself in the experience. I really like how Olu talks about it in this next clip. So yeah. Damn. What other questions do I have? Uh, what brings you here today, specifically? Here. Today, I came, you know, Sawyer hit me up on Snapchat. It's like, yo, we have this shoot. And I always show up, you know, because I'm trying to learn as much as possible. Because I'm trying to, I'm basically trying to do what he's doing in a few years, you know. So I'm trying to learn how to direct, how to make treatments, style, you know, just learn everything and hopefully, you know, do this in the future, full time. So you're learning by absorbing yourself in the culture. Exactly, that's the best way. You know, sometimes you don't have to have all the skills. Sometimes you just have to be present. Sometimes just being there is a big thing and learning. Simply doing it. Mm -hmm. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Nice. 
Sometimes you don't have to have all the skills, you just have to be present. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you for watching. Love you all.